Focus. There we go. We are going to walk the mall because of the storm that's coming. We're going to be cooped up again. So we're going to go we'll walk around inside. Are those pants too short for you, dude? Or are they just stuck up? <laughs> uh, after that, we are going to pick up food from high school. It is mac and cheese day. They're also going to give us too much food because they're going to give it to us through Sunday. Hey, can you reach the button for your elbow? So we are heading in and Go get some exercise. Bad lighting. I am down here working on my miniature sets. What you probably don't know is my mom, who passed away right before my fifth birthday, she did miniatures. So much so that she made many to sell. Uh, one of the big things she did was make needlepoint rugs. I was looking through, and one of them even has. The price from the 70s it is $30 so a lot more nowadays I have I think all of her old miniature stuff it is falling apart dusty and crusty like look at some of this pretty faded but you can see her little shrinky dink ornaments so cute I just glued together a couple pieces that I noticed needed some love they are larger scale than this. This is definitely a small scale miniature set, but I am pulling some things from this stash 
to add to here just because this is such a homey look. Her dollhouse that she was working on was very old fashioned and had a general store in the basement. So I'm seeing what I can use, what fits the scale and what's not too devastated by time. And I might be pulling out some of these pieces. I think it's just too cluttered. And I don't love how the fake books look. By fake, I mean, they're just like these paper things that you glue into a box. I'm trying to make them look as good as I can by making them shiny, but let me show you what I have so far. Here we are. <laughs> don't mind that little kitty. I just put that up there a minute ago. Anyway, this is the table that came with it. It was yellow. And you're supposed to put this tablecloth on it. There's the yellow. I painted it because I didn't like the yellow. And I don't know. I think it's too busy. It's very top heavy too. It just wants to flop over. You stay over there. So I just grabbed a stool out of my mom's stuff. And I think I like that better. This is one of her handmade rugs. She needle pointed that. I just stuck that little plant in there. She made some beautiful paper flowers. Let me see. But unfortunately, like this is quilling. I don't know if you know what paper quilling is, but unfortunately they're all faded to this like brown color. I don't know if I can paint them. She did such beautiful work. Woo! Sorry, making you dizzy. There's the little newspaper. I don't know where that's gonna go, but the set was supposed to come with a little cutout newspaper and I didn't find it. I stuck a book there and a broom there. It looks like it needs to be sanded down. Uh, I'm changing a lot. This is supposed to be here and I took it out. I'm just not loving the green. If I were to use that, I would need to paint it again. But I like it better with out of there. Everything was just so crammed in. I'll show you a shot of what it looks like here. But doing it this way gives me a lot more space to put things on the walls. And this is not even all of the artwork. As you can see, I've got a bunch of frames. They had it stuck all over the shelves as well. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going through this stuff and see what else I find. I decided to pull out for now 
everything changes every time I work on this, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'll start over here at the left. This candlestick, that little plant, as I said. There are some Sphinx of Egypt bookends, this tiny clay bird sculpture. This cup set and the stool. This little knitting basket. A Ouija board, this red book. This broom, I switched it out because I found another one. This basket, kitty cat. Don't know if he's gonna stay. All of these books that you see there. Let me see if I can pull this out without knocking over. There's some books in there. I just kind of shoved them in there for now. I believe that's it. I'm loving how it's looking. Obviously the rug, <laughs> I forgot to say that. I'm gonna be pulling dog hairs off this till the day I die. But what do you think? It is a lot different from what they intended it to look like, but that's just how I roll. I change things. So yeah, that's supposed to be the floor. I painted the wood instead. because my husband and Sebastian were playing Mario Kart and they were just having such a good time. Anyway, let's go over the day. I'm not sure if I talked to you at quiet time. So this morning I woke up like at 6.50 when my husband was getting Ziggy out of the crate. I sleep right here, the crate's right there. So sometimes it happens, but I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm not good at sleeping in the beginning of the night, but I am good at sleeping in the early morning. Sebastian apparently woke up at the same time though, and he was just up and talking and bouncing around on the bed. So at 7.20, I gave up closing my eyes and we were up for good. I got up around eight and showered and dressed, then we had breakfast. I started some laundry as well. And then, we got to the mall around 10.30. The stores don't open until 11 now in the pandemic, which is better than they were, it was 12. But it gives us some time to just walk when things are closed and there's a lot less traffic, but there really wasn't too many people. I was a little worried when we were pulling up to the mall because when the, the parking lot I passed by, it's from an old Nordstrom's that went out of business, like half of our mall is empty. It was packed, there's so many people, so many cars, a line out the building, and then I realized they're doing vaccinations there. There were some emergency vehicles, there were big light up signs everywhere. So yeah, I guess the mall is one of the places where they're vaccinating. Um, we had a nice walk around the mall. I was trying to get my exercise minutes, and for the first two thirds of our walking time, I was not getting any exercise, like active minutes, like I was walking obviously. But finally, I got everybody moving fast enough. The sun started coming out and we were on the upper floor, so it was like pouring through the skylights and we were all getting a little roasty toasty. My heart finally got up there and I got my 15 minutes right as we got to the car, so yay. We headed straight to the high school after that to pick up mac and cheese for mac and cheese day. They gave us food through Monday, I think? No, Sunday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They just give the hot lunch for today and then enough breakfasts for all those days and enough frozen dinners for all those days and a whole bunch of snacks, it seems. So not like 
the three meals that you would normally get, but we obviously don't need all that. We do, <laughs> we have groceries coming on Saturday. They were gonna be on Friday, but I changed our delivery slot because it's still gonna be really snowy and I don't think my husband will have shoveled before then. He refuses to shovel until the last flake has fallen. He will not go out there. So I, I, I changed it to Saturday. We're, we're running out of food, like we're gonna be out of fresh fruit soon, but it is what it is, we'll live. There's a lot of people in our country who are much worse off, like Texas, who got slammed with winter weather. They're not prepared. So many millions of people are out of power and water and it's just a disaster. So I'm feeling grateful I'm in a warm house and we know how to deal with winter weather because it's coming. But it was so nice. Even just like a quick trip to pick up food, they come out and they're like, Sebastian, and people come from the back to say hi. They gave us two mac and cheese cups, which is way better than usual. <laughs> He'll definitely eat both of those. We don't need the six. He always makes it through at least two though. When we got back, I had asked for two milks as well, because the milks we had in the fridge were well past their sell-by date. They gave us five, <laughs> but it's good to have. I mean, if I bake biscuits, if Jax wants to drink the milk, it's good to have. I don't keep a ton because he doesn't like to drink it unless it has strawberry powder in it. I don't feel like it's super healthy, but he does need more protein, so maybe I need to compromise and let him do that. I sorted all of the frozen goods. There, everything just comes like wrapped up in blobs of aluminum foil, so I was opening everything up and labeling Ziploc bags and sorting the chicken nuggets from the breaded chicken sandwiches. So everything's in the freezer all labeled. My husband often pulls out like a pizza eating. That was a fast book. You were in there for three minutes. You were, you were a peg leg pick. Peak, he's a Pekingese. Normally you say peg leg Pete as a pirate name, yeah. but peak. We'll see you All right, we'll see you. All right, then after that we ate our lunch and Hmm, don't pull on my earrings. I'm looking at. They're dream catchers. They catch good dreams. Did we do anything after lunch? Or did we go straight up to quiet time? Please. Did you, you put, watch some videos, yeah. You watched videos, I took care of some computer stuff. And then we went up to quiet time. Yeah, I watched some Pingo. Pingo, yeah, I don't like Pingo. And then we came down, it was almost five, I guess it was 4.30. And I was gonna, I was preparing to make soup today because we hadn't had it since last Friday. But then I realized it's gonna be a snowy disaster tomorrow night. If I make soup today and we kinda want a delivery meal tomorrow, that's not gonna happen, so. My husband agreed that it would probably be smarter to do a delivery meal tonight and soup tomorrow when it's just all cold and snowy and we want a nice, warm, soothing meal anyway. So we ordered, what did we order? We ordered burgers. Burgers. Uh, it's a really close place. I just get, I've settled into getting the same thing. They actually, hey, you're pushing me off the, the bed, babe. I'm falling. <laughs> I'm falling. You're gonna oh. fall, get off. They actually have like six or seven veggie burgers, but they they don't travel well. I don't eat like the fake meat ones, like the Boca patty, the Impossible patties. And then they also have ones like a lentil one and some others, but they're very like mushy and soft, so they don't travel well. I always just get the spicy bean one. It comes with a bunch of stuff, but I take everything but the avocado off. Very good. I've learned not to get lettuce on delivery. <laughs> But we ate that and then I headed downstairs. As you saw, I did some miniature work. I feel like it's almost there. I'm gonna make a few more books and just call it done because I don't want to use everything that they provided. Mine looks way different than the kit, but it is what it is. I just, I never liked that shelf because it takes up all the floor space, the big green one in the front. The color, I mean, it was bright yellow, like a yellowy orange or something before 
I liked the green more because it matched the fabric, but I still wasn't happy with it. But even if it was any color in the world, the shelves were too shallow, so all the oh, books stuck out too why far. Why do I get rainbow? That would be cool. I'm just gonna save it for potential future use. And I ended up taking out the other green shelf too because I just wanted more space and I'm way happier with it. So let me know what you think of how I laid it all out. After that, I folded a load of laundry, Sebastian's laundry, that takes forever. <laughs> and then I started our laundry. I just moved it into the dryer. I've got so many more loads of laundry, but I can work on that more tomorrow. Yeah, that's the end of our day. And thanks for coming along with us. Uh, I appreciate you watching these. I don't know why you're here, but I'm grateful. And we're gonna say goodnight. Did you get the blocky? I don't know. Maybe they'll let me know if they are. They know where the videos are. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. Stay safe, and don't forget. Wash your hands. Wash your hands.